Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com and in this video, I'm gonna talk through all the different programs in Google Merchant Center and how to activate each one. First thing you wanna do is log into your Google Merchant Center account. On the left-hand side, go down to growth and go down to manage programs. Here you see all the different programs for Google Merchant Center and I'm gonna go over each one, one by one right now. The first one is free product listings. Now this program is amazing. It allows e-commerce stores to place free ads across the Google search network. That means on shopping, on the images, and a couple more as well. Now for this account here, we've actually got this activated already. Of course, it's a real low hanging fruit that you should have activated for your store. If you haven't activated it yet, there will be a button here that says, get started. Click that, go through the prompts, and set it up for your own store. You will need to set up a product feed. You can check out my videos on setting up Google shopping campaigns and go through the feed setup part of those videos to get set up and then just go through that process on the program getting started. The next one here is Google shopping ads. Now this is what we do for a lot of our clients here where we help them set up their Google shopping campaigns by setting up their feed on Merchant Center, enabling this, linking it to their Google ads account and then running paid campaigns. The difference here is that these shopping ads are paid when the free product listings are free. Now what's the benefit there? Well, shopping ads have more traffic you can be much more targeted with that traffic and it can really scale. You have much more control. I recommend running both side by side. If you want to learn how to set up shopping ads, I recommend checking out some of my videos. I've got a bunch of tutorials on setting up shopping ads for your e-commerce store. So I'll leave some links in the description down below. If you don't want to set it up yourself and you want to pay us to do it, we can do it for you. Just get in touch on my website, keycommerce.com. I'll also leave a link down below. The next program we have is dynamic remarketing. This allows us to do remarketing of our shopping products to people across the web. This is fantastic because we can show that product that someone has already viewed to them at a later date. If they don't purchase, it's almost like an abandoned cart sequence where basically they will visit all over the web and we can show those ads of that product to them and follow them around until they purchase. The next one we have is customer reviews. This program is a free program that Google provides that allows them to collect reviews for you on your website with a pop-up. They then provide you with a badge with your seller rating and this can be a good marketing strategy too. Honestly, I recommend setting up reviews with a third party app like stamp.io. I've got a few videos on that app and how to set it up, but this can be a good strategy if you're trying to save a lot of money. But in my opinion, the user experience isn't amazing. I do have a video on setting this up, so I'll leave that down below in the description for you to check out if you're interested. Now the free local product listings is an incredibly unutilized program in the Google Merchant Center. If you have a physical store, you can showcase those products to people nearby. It's pretty cool and it's only available in certain countries. So I recommend checking that out if you have some actual local stores. The next one we have is the local inventory ad. So this is similar to the free local product listings, but it's paid. So when you run your shopping ads, if someone is in that local area and you have a physical store, you can showcase your products in that shopping ad as well. The next one, which is one of my favorites is promotions, also called merchant promotions. This allows us to run promotions in our Google shopping ads. We can provide special offers, discount codes, and things like that. And it really helps our ads stand out. This is one of my secret sources that not many people know about. It can be really effective at improving your click-through rate and just giving your ads an extra edge over your competitors. The next one we have are the product ratings. This is really, really, really valuable. These are the stars and reviews that you show on your Google Shopping ads. This can really make the difference between getting the click from those customers or not. It's pretty easy to set up. I've got a few videos on the topic. I'll leave a link down below. Once you get it set up, your ads are gonna get a lot more clicks. It's really a no-brainer. So I recommend you go and do that and watch those videos. The last program here is the market insights program. I've talked about this in a few videos about the price competitiveness report and the best sellers report. This gives you extra insight into what competitors are doing in the market for Google Shopping. It can be really, really valuable, it's free. So I recommend looking into it and applying it for your store. Those are the Merchant Center programs that are actually available right now in Google Merchant Center. I recommend checking them out because there's a lot of extra things you could be doing for your shopping campaigns to get that edge over your competitors. You don't have to enable all of these programs, of course, but I definitely recommend looking into a few, especially product ratings and promotions and the free listings in order to really get the most out of your Google Shopping campaigns. I hope this video was helpful, guys. If it was, give it a like, let me know in the comments below and check out my other videos on growing your e-commerce store with Google ads and Google Shopping campaigns. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.